Hey YouTube, today we're going to find out what to do when you're putting your listing together and you don't have the does not apply section for the UPC area. Or if you have the UPC but it's giving you an error message when you try to uploading when you try to upload it telling you that you need the UPC to be filled out. So this is what it looks like. You're putting your listing together. You pick a category. If you go down to the UPC, there's nothing here. There should be a does not apply that you can select here. If you don't have the does not apply, that means your program is not updated properly. So what you want to do is go up to your tools menu, do the check for program updates. Now, TurboLister updates are kind of like building blocks, so you'll need to install a version, and then once it's installed, you're going to have to go back and check for it again. You may have to update your program two or three times. As you can see, there are updates found. Go ahead and install now. Whether or not you do a backup, completely up to you. So as you can see, the program's been updated successfully. We're going to go ahead and check for updates once more. Okay, we'll go ahead and install these as well. Okay, the second update has installed. Let's check to see if that does not apply for the UPC section is available. And as you can see, does not apply is now applicable. Now, if you had run updates a couple times until it got to the point where it said that there were no program updates to be found and your program was completely up to date, if you still weren't able to see the does not apply feature at that point, that would mean you would have to uninstall your program, delete your databases, reinstall the program, and restore from a backup file. That's why it's really important to make sure that you're creating backup files pretty regularly. And you can create a backup file prior to uninstalling and uh, deleting your databases in this, in this particular situation. But generally, simply running your updates can get you to this point where you see the does not apply. And at that stage, you will no longer get those error messages when you try to upload your listings to eBay. Keep watching for more videos on how to build your eBay arsenal.